Is it still recording? Oh yeah, it is. What's up? This is your boy Amastuga out here with another video for you guys. All right, so today's video by the titles, we're gonna be talking about O level and I level when it comes to the 6000 series MOS. I have a friend out here, he's uh, O level, he's gonna talk about O level maintenance, what they do over there at the O level side. So without any further ado, let's hit this video. All right, so this is my boy Etuk. He works with me at, on the flight line. He is a maintenance data specialist. He's gonna talk about the O level maintenance, and I'm gonna talk about I level maintenance. So, like at the schoolhouse, when before, once you get your MOS selected to you, before you even go to boot camp, it has like it's gonna say six thousand, so like six XXX, right? So you've not really um, picked your actual MOS until you get into the schoolhouse as he said they're gonna give you like six xsx so it's up to them to decide what the other three is gonna be but it's gonna be under this like the aviation department if you're six like if your number is six i went to boot camp my uh mos was gonna be like i, I just selected i'm gonna be in the aviation field so it was like six zero zero xxx to whatever you have to be and i wanted to be like a maintainer slash engineer in the marine corps so uh, my mos was six zero and then whatever they have next to it, you know. So my my MOS right now is six sixty forty eight, and so it's six zero four eight. And then any admin that's gonna be in my MOS on my section is gonna be sixty forty seven or sixty forty six. Uh, with that, when you go before you go to boot camp or before you go to yeah before you go you select your MOS, you have to be sure that you're doing either like maintenance like MOS related six thousand series or admin related. 6000 series. So I level, what do you guys deal with when it comes to maintenance? So as an O level, maintenance admin, we just deal with paperwork, everything that has to do with the aircraft that pertains to the aircraft. Say mm -hmm. like they're installing a part, the maintenance are out there maintaining the aircraft. We are the final, like we as maintenance admin or 6046 have the final approval of what the maintenance that is going on out there. So they have the fiscal aircraft that they're working on. Same thing is done on my side, at, on the paperwork side, and they have to correspond. And we have a system that we use to track all the maintenance that is going on the actual aircraft. I mean, as a maintenance, I mean, that's my job. For So for eye level, we deal with gear that comes from O level. We have like two types of maintenance. We have rework and upkeep. So I level, we'll be doing rework. So anything that messed up at O level, they bring it directly to I level and then we fix it, we change the parts in it, and then we send it back to the O level. So O level is actually dealing with the aircraft directly than we are. So our job is more in depth than it is on the O level side. You hear, I mean, you hear a good point. Basically, I level as an O level is basically there, like they're there to support us. Our job is to literally to just make sure that the pilots get a functional pilot suit. And our job as a low level is to make sure, okay, we receive this thing. Now, what we can see, what is exposed to us, can we, like, is it good? So one question that most people ask was what part of maintenance deploys the most? Because everybody wants to get on the deployment. Everybody wants to go on the boat and go like do some dope stuff. What, what deployment opportunities do you guys have? O level wise, uh, you actually get to deploy a lot. I mean, if you're on the O level and you have a, a squadron that deploys, because you have some uh, command out there, some squadron that just that are based on the station just for training to provide training purposes. But if you are the deployable squadron, you guys can actually get to go to a lot. Of, you're gonna be moving a lot. I mean, I've actually get to go to the Philippines. I've went to Thailand. I went to Malaysia. I was in Japan. So. I mean, you, you have a lot of opportunity traveling more being at an O level. So for I level is different, totally different. So since I level is mainly supporting all the squadrons, because I level is like the center of maintenance. So if any aircraft breaks, when all the squadrons, they're gonna bring that parts to I level. So which means you are just gonna be based. If you get stationed in Japan, you're gonna be based in Japan for most of the time, unless you go on like a. UDP or a detachment or something like that. But if you are O level, O level uh, 6048, they are directly attached with the pilot. All the equipment that we give to O level, they get to go and do schedule inspections on those. So if you want to deploy a lot, make sure you know what squadron you're going to before you select it. If you're 6048, go to O level, don't go to I level. That's all I got to say about that. If you are also don't want to deploy and you want to be in one place for a long time, then go to eye level. I mean the caveat to that is uh, there are some people that like to move I mean like that I, I joined the Marine Corps because I like I want to travel a lot like I like to move around so when I got the old level 
I was happy with it. Like I was happy that I got the O level because, hey, I'm, I, that's why I joined the Marine Corps to travel. So that gave me the, that. That's a great opportunity. My job doesn't require me to go on deployment. Like it doesn't because I can, I can stay at home and still do what I'm doing. But as a 6048, you actually get to go a lot of places because you're traveling with the pilot. Basically, you're maintaining their gear. So you have to, before they even put it on, you have to inspect it and make sure that they're good. So you go. I mean, if you're 6048, if you pick 6048, going as an O level, and if you want to travel, is the best option because. They, they go everywhere the pilots go, basically to maintain their gear. Another question that I got is how do I become, so now we're talking about O level and I level. Someone is going to ask, how do I get to O level or how do I get to I level as my more 6048. So when you go to the schoolhouse, which is going to be in Pensacola, after your MCT, you're going to go to the schoolhouse in Pensacola and you're going to have a class which lasts about four to eight weeks, depending on what kind of class you are. If you want to be O level, you have to perform. Like if you know that oh yeah, O level is gonna make me deploy a lot, and I want to go deploy a lot, you have to be good in your class. Depending on how many, how much your class size is, whoever comes up on top in the Marine Corps class in the Marines, you guys get to pick first. MOS where you want to go. You have to perform well in order to go where you want to go, and that's the only tip that I can give you to pick where you want to go as like O level and I level. I didn't know that you guys do the same thing, but as a 646, we had to do like, we came in, I, you have to be like the top of your class to be able to decide where you want to go. So, I mean, being the top of the class got me to Japan because that was my first duty station and that's where I wanted to go. Like, so, and they only had that one, like they only had that one opening for Japan during that time too. So, so it's like an incentive for you to perform well. So just study, make sure you're getting like, you're doing good on your tests. And if you get, if you're high in class, if you're like the first three in class, you're probably definitely gonna get where Where you wanna go. Like for 6048, you can go to Hawaii, Japan, New River, San Diego. There's like, yeah, yeah, there's like, probably like four or five choices where you can go. So you have to do your research, know where you wanna be, and then perform well in your classes in order to go where you wanna be. That will conclude all the questions that I got. So if you guys have any more questions that you wanna ask either him or me, let me know and we're going to do a, another video to get more into details about that is going to conclude the video for the day. I hope you enjoy your weekend or wherever you're at, you'll have a blessed day. Blessed day. Right. Blessed day. We out. Namaste.